In the next section, Jesus continues to do miracles, but he is showing compassion and exposing the heart of the false shepherds. This is taken from John chapter 5, so if you turn there. After these things, there was a feast of the Jews. Now this is the one, we're not sure if this was the Passover. Some think it was the Feast of Tabernacles. So how long have we had in Jesus' ministry? He cleanses the temple at the Passover, and now we've had one year later, he's back in Jerusalem. If it is the Passover feast here. It's possible it's only six months, Feast of Tabernacles, but if it's the Passover, we are year in. There is in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, a pool, which is called in Hebrew, Bethesda. (laughs) Seems how we're here today. Having five porticos, and in these lay a multitude of those who were sick, blind, lame, withered. Here was the story associated with this, that an angel of the Lord went down at certain seasons in the pool, stirred up the waters, whoever then got into the water. First, after the water was stirred, was healed. A man had been there for how many years? And when Jesus saw him and knew that he had already been there a long time in that condition, he said, do you want to get well? And the man said, sir, I have no man in to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. I'm one, I'm coming. Another one gets there before me. He's been there 38 years. And this particular pool, the pool of Bethesda, near the Sheep Gate, is just to the north of the Temple Mount. And it's where some of the sacrifices, they would bring them in and they would use them in preparation for the temple sacrifices. <sighs> Who was in charge of the temple? The, yeah, the priests, the shepherds. And for 38 years, who did they walk by at the pools? This whole group of needy, hurting, broken people. Now, here's a little imagination, but I mean, it's not too much of a stretch that, oh, don't touch that one. Got to get around him. Did he have a real complaint? But wouldn't he have expected when he turned to his religious leaders that they would have had a little bit of compassion on his condition? He knew something about them that probably a lot of people didn't know, that they were put on. Their religion was put on, and they didn't care about him. And when Jesus says, take up your mat and walk, this man who had not been noticed for 38 years was suddenly noticed because Jesus told him to do it on the Sabbath. Oh, the Sabbath. We can't have any walking around with mat carrying on the Sabbath. That's carrying a burden. That's against our traditions. They haul him in. Who told you to do this? The authority issue. Do you see this shepherd is now taking the authority and he's going to the false shepherds and he's exposing you don't care about your sheep. In the next two events that happen right after this, his disciples are hungry. They go through the grain fields. They are getting the husks off the grain. Oh, did I see your hands threshing that wheat? That was what the leaders called that threshing. They couldn't do that on the Sabbath. When Jesus is back in Galilee, there's this man who has had a hand that's shriveled up. And Jesus, all he says, he doesn't make this big fanfare of healing. All he says is, stretch out your hand. The man stretches it. You can't do that on the Sabbath. Who did the shepherds totally miss? They don't care. Oh, those are just stupid sheep. I don't care about them. Jesus exposes the heart of the false shepherds. The spiritual leaders have religious practices, but no compassion. They join with the Herodians, and they start the plot to kill Jesus. These are two political groups, and they are not friends politically, but they become friends in order to have a common objective. We're only a year in, and this is when it starts. The authority is what's at issue here. Their authority, or Jesus' authority, to call the shots their leadership or Jesus' leadership over them. Because they had not humbled themselves before God, they were still unclean, no matter how good they appeared to others. Because they had not humbled themselves before God, they were still unclean, no matter how good they appeared to others. You can imagine how the crowds just love Jesus. The sheep love this, this new person on the scene. They start coming to Jesus and listening to him. And Jesus spends the night in prayer. He chooses the 12 disciples at this point. So we're a year to a year and a half in before the 12 are chosen as his disciples. Now they've been following. Some have been following from the very beginning of his public ministry. But now we have the 12 are chosen And now Jesus is going to start teaching his 12, the crowds who come, including 
those who are there, false shepherds who are there, the, in other words, the, the good citizens that appear religious are going to come and they're going to hear. And Jesus in his teaching is going to expose the ideas of the false shepherds. 